three games in a week is, is not an easy thing. And obviously, this was a game that you could easily overlook and um, you know have your eyes uh, on, on Vegas on Saturday. But I thought our kids came out and, and really performed well offensively. That was a really good offensive performance. Uh, shot the ball really well to start the game. Um, so very good victory. What's your biggest takeaway from that second half? I mean, I think your team probably thinks that they made it a little bit closer than you wish. You know, is it just the defensive errors or not putting them? Well, I, Nevada played a really tough and aggressive. You know, I thought they, um, you can look at some stat things, and we won the rebounding battle. You know, we turned them over 13 times. We only turned it over six. You know, we scored it really well. Um, but I, I just felt like they were tougher and more aggressive than us. And um, so the takeaway from that second half is we, we did a much better job guarding their, their post on the perimeter. Uh, we probably weren't ready for their post to be launching all those threes, to be honest with you. Um, and so uh, made a good adjustment there. But we just 50-50 balls, loose balls, you know, 50-50 rebounds. I just felt like we didn't come up with many of those. And to beat a good Vegas team on Saturday, you're obviously going to have to to win that category. What are some things you'd like to see um, better from this team in, on Saturday? Well, yeah, I, I think we need to we need to be more locked in defensively as a unit. I mean, we had a lot of breakdowns tonight because we we didn't communicate well with each other. Uh, so just being more connected defensively and not just that doesn't just need to be an improvement for Saturday, but that needs to be an improvement for the rest of the season. Um, you know, teams are playing very physical against us, and um, we've we've got to be ready for more physical, fast pace. And I just didn't think we were all that ready to go tonight um, defensively. You touched on the physicality a little bit. Monday's game was pretty physical. What do you kind of chalk up that those defensive struggles too, do you think that was short turnaround or, you know, it's first week of classes, kind of, what do you think? I don't know. I think you just, you know, what do you got in here? Defense is what do you have in your chest? And, you know, I think sometimes we, we kind of get a little lackadaisical and maybe look at the scoreboard. No, we're, we're, we scoreboard watch too much for me. I, I have a high standard defensively, and I think it should be done every single possession. And we just shy away from that um, too much to be a, a really, really good basketball team. You already mentioned how great the offense was tonight. I mean, in that second quarter particularly, Destiny, it seemed like she was just hitting three after three after three. You know, what, what were kind of your emotions then and then obviously heading into the locker room after that and saying, hey, we still have another half to play? Yeah, I, Destiny's done that. You know, um, she's had some really big halves. You know, she had 27 in the first half at, at Utah State. And um, it, it's – my thoughts are – Wow, that, that young lady's really, really good, and she can really get going. Um, and so um, you need to feed that, you know, just keep feeding that. And, um, you know, we've got a really good duo up front with McKenna and, and Destiny, and if people are going to really ball hawk uh, McKenna, you know, Destiny gives us that other primary ball handler penetrator. and. Um, they were really making it difficult for McKenna to get the ball tonight and initiate offense. Well, Destiny can do that too. So um, we just wanted more of that the second half. I thought we, we did what we needed to do in that second half. Um, again, good victory. Yeah, I was going to ask, obviously in that first half you have you know, a streaky Destiny, but it wasn't, didn't seem very noticeable in the second half at least. You know, Are you looking for her to – keep doing that all 40 minutes? Well, they probably gave her more attention. And, you know, she got a lot of those points in the first half against that zone. We didn't see much of that the second half. So they, they put a little more pressure on her. And, and um, you know, I thought Crocker had a really good game. You know, she's an aggressive driver. Um, I thought Callie Clark was, was big time. I think we should be talking more about her. Um, she's my MVP. Um, you know, 14 rebounds. And, you know, she she had the you know I, I didn't think we were very tough tonight. She had the toughness for five people tonight. I thought she was our toughness, and uh, proud of what she's doing for us defensively. How she runs the floor, guards those big kids. Callie Clark has been a really solid performer as of late. You mentioned that there's three games in a, in this week, right? And a, you know you do need that toughness from from Callie Clark and company. You know. 
what, what's kind of your message to the team going to be heading into Saturday that, you know, we need to just keep on with it? Well, my, the message is if, if we perform like that, um, as far as um, kind of the, the nitty-gritty plays, we will not win. You know, I mean, we're a good basketball team, but sometimes we can be too flash and all oh, too shine. Okay, that's not when that's not what wins. Okay, what wins is you know who wants to get down and dirty and and execute and play the plan the right way um, and win and battle as many of those little battles as you can. And so that's the message. Uh, Coach, the team's not ten and one at home compared to just two and three on the road. How strong is the at home advantage at Moby? Yeah, I think our kids love playing at Moby. They 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 take great pride in playing in front of our our fans and running out there on that court. So um, it's it's fun to play here. And so um, you know, hopefully hopefully Moby Madness shows out um, on Saturday because we're gonna we're gonna need some energy. You know, you beat a you know Vegas is the cream of the crop. I mean they're. They are the, the top team in our league, and they've earned that. To beat them, you need to play with a, a greater edge and a greater energy, and hopefully our crowd can provide us that energy that gets us over the hump and can make some winning plays and hopefully beat a really good Vegas team. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.